What up, y'all? It's your boy, Steez. Who? I'm back here again with another video. Hey, yo. What the hell going oh on in hip hop, God. man? Because, nigga, I got a lot to discuss. Because for those of y'all who don't know, Kendrick Lamar is supposed to be performing at the Super Bowl next year. And I ain't going to lie, I was kind of excited about that. Because, yo, man, I don't know if y'all know this, but Kendrick Lamar is a good ass performer, dog. So I thought making Kendrick Lamar the person who headlines for the Super Bowl next year was a good decision. However, there's a lot of people that seem to disagree with me on that. Because as soon as the announcement was made, a lot of people got on social media and they were upset that Lil Wayne wasn't the one that was headlining for the Super Bowl performance. And this is all because the Super Bowl would be taking place in New Orleans. And since Wayne is from New Orleans, people believe that it would make more sense to have Wayne perform instead of Kendrick. And now it wasn't just fans on social media that were expressing their disappointment with this decision There was also a lot of other rappers that were saying some of the same things as well And that includes the two rap legends Cam and Mace Cam and Mace expressed on their sports podcast It Is What It Is That even though they think Kendrick Lamar is dope They think Wayne would have been a better option And both of them start to insinuate that Jay might be the reason that Wayne isn't gonna be at the Super Bowl And they accuse Jay of hating on Wayne For those of y'all that don't know Wayne and Jay got an interesting history with each other And Jay's got a partnership with the NFL, and that's the reason why Kim, Mace, and a whole lot of niggas think that Jay Z is behind all of this. Nicki Minaj also went on Twitter on a coked out rant, and she calls Jay Z a house nigga. Like, god damn, was that necessary? Birdman even gets mad and puts it on Miss Gladys. Hey, hold up, nigga, ain't you the same nigga that tried to get Lil Wayne shot? Ball head bitch, I ain't forget. I don't know, man. I just think this funny as fuck. Cause Nicki and Birdman is standing together in solidarity for Wayne. What the fuck was y'all when Kendrick was whooping Drake ass? Ain't none of y'all niggas said a damn thing. Actually, you know what? Never mind. It was probably for the best. So yeah, man, as y'all can see, everybody's being dramatic as hell about Lil Wayne not headlining at the Super Bowl. They are looking at this as a direct slap in the face because you got an artist who's from LA doing a show in New Orleans. And if you ask me, I think everybody sounds dumb as hell. I mean, let's look at the list of people that have performed at the Super Bowl. Most of them are not from where they performed at. So no, this isn't a slap in the face to Wayne. I don't even think him and Wayne actually have any real problems right now because the both of them were spotted hanging out with each other a couple weeks ago now during the vmas kendrick lamar dropped a song on his instagram and the cover art for the song is these beat up ass black air force ones and the song appears to be untitled but a lot of fans like to call the song watch the party die now this song is kind of like a 616 in la and meet the grands had a baby because it has a very dark and eerie energy to it like meet the grands and the song that kendrick is rapping to is a drumless soul sample similar to 616 in la and just like all the other songs that kendrick has dropped recently he's rapping his ass off now a lot of people believe that this is a diss song towards Drake and I think those niggas that say that did not actually listen to the song it wasn't really so much a Drake diss this is more of a diss to the industry in this song Kendrick Lamar is very pissed off at the state of the industry and the state of hip hop he even goes as far to say that he would trade all of these lame ass niggas for Nip and I ain't gonna lie I feel him on that now this song isn't like Not Like Us or any of the songs on the radio so as you can imagine there was some people that weren't feeling this song however I would say that's a very small minority because mind you Kendrick dropped this song on Instagram he ain't dropping nowhere else and it still did crazy numbers and since he's dropped it people been listening to it a lot trying to find the Easter eggs and dissect what they think the song means now there's a lot of theories going around about this song I heard a lot of theories that this song might be referencing Diddy you know because the song is called watch the party die and that nasty motherfucker Diddy been throwing parties and shit and I mean we are witnessing his downfall I mean it would make sense right well DJ has said that's cap and if you don't know who dj head is he's a dj from the west coast and he's been friends with kendrick his whole entire career and he said they ain't got nothing to do with diddy i mean i do like the theories and shit but i do be thinking there's a lot of motherfuckers reaching for the stars when it comes to these lyric breakdowns because there do be some motherfuckers that just be doing too much and what's also really clever here is that drake is 37 years old and he says the n-word 37 times on this track is he's basically saying the word for every year that he's been alive now people still bitching and moaning about this whole entire thing with wayne the very next day wayne himself actually dropped a video sounding all sad as fuck and saying how this situation broke him man look i love wayne i really do i am actually a huge fan of wayne i have witnessed this nigga's whole entire run i remember the days of no ceilings and carter three so i don't want to be disrespectful but bro I really do think that was lame that Wayne did that. 
Now, like I said, I don't mean no disrespect. And I love Wayne. I understand why people would want to see Wayne on stage at the Super Bowl because he is a legend and he has made some legendary songs. But yo, can we be dead ass? The Wayne today is not the same Wayne that we grew up with. Like that motherfucker been left the building. I want y'all to go on YouTube, TikTok, Daily Motion, Pornhub, whatever the fuck you be using to watch videos and go look up a recent Wayne performance. You gonna see exactly why his black ass ain't gonna be up on that stage. Go look up the video of him performing at WrestleMania. The man that you see on that stage is not this man right here. I know we all grew up watching this nigga, man. I get it. I understand the appeal. But dog, it's over. So again, no disrespect to Wayne at all. He really is one of the GOATs. But I don't know if current Wayne could do a Super Bowl. Maybe Wayne in his prime, but Wayne now, I'm not sure. And that's not to say that all his performances recently been bad, but he ain't performing at the same level as Kendrick Lamar. Also, who's to say that Lil Wayne can never perform at the Super Bowl? Just because he's not performing at this one doesn't mean that he won't be able to perform in the future. But I'm pretty sure him and all these other people acting like this might make the NFL say hell nah. And I mean, Kendrick could bring out Wayne while he's performing. However, according to Joe Button, that might not happen. <laughs> I, I asked somebody, was there a chance that maybe Kendrick bring, brings Wayne out? Just looking for a silver lining. Yeah, exactly. yeah, it's a dub the answer is no, it's a dub for that. That would ruin too much and too much is already ruined. Now, I've seen a lot of people say that Jay-Z's not even in control of who performs at the halftime show. I've seen people say that the people that live in the city that the Super Bowl will be at votes for who's going to do the halftime show. Well, according to Jesse Collins, who is the producer for the Super Bowl halftime show, he says y'all need to shut the fuck up because he says that Jay is the one that makes a final decision on who performs. So I guess Cam, Mace, and Nikki wasn't all the way wrong. However, like I said, I don't think Jay was doing this with any ill intent. I mean, Kendrick is hot right now. Making him headline at the Super Bowl actually sounds like a good idea. Also on top of that, I've actually seen somebody say that Wayne has a history of being very unprofessional and showing up late to shows. So if he has a reputation of that, it shouldn't be so surprising why he wasn't selected now obviously this whole entire situation could be perceived as an l towards drake because this nigga whooped your ass he performing a halftime show in your mentor city and may potentially call you a pdf file up on stage in front of millions of people he probably ain't gonna do that though now i've also heard that drake has been asked to do the super bowl in the past before but he's turned them down now the first person i heard this from was maul and i mean why the hell would i listen Shaboy to what he boy, got to say? maul says that drake's been asked four times and he's turned them down each time i've also seen elliot wilson and steve stout say the same Come thing on, however i also this. heard that this is false but look man i don't know i mean if it's true i wonder why he would turn it down who knows i think the halftime show is gonna be pretty good like i said kendrick is a good performer so i don't got no doubt in my mind that it's gonna be good and i think people just need to relax when it comes to the whole entire thing with wayne because i mean look if it was an r&b singer or a pop star that was doing a halftime show wouldn't nobody be saying shit because didn't nobody say shit when beyonce did the halftime time show in new orleans y'all was quiet as hell and around that time wayne was in a better condition to perform that would have been the best time to say something but nah y'all wait till the motherfucker down to his last three dreadlocks to say this shit man cut this shit out dog plus on top of that man wayne be forgetting his goddamn lyrics i remember this nigga was in an interview one time and somebody was reading him the lyrics to lollipop he said yo that's hard who said that that was like nigga you y'all want this nigga to do the super bowl for real because i'm saying bro this not the same wayne we grew up with bro he been through a lot he's not the same person i don't want this performance to potentially ruin his legacy if it's bad let's just let kendrick do it it's okay but y'all really don't give a fuck about wayne like that wayne got a concert in new orleans and there's plenty of seats left why don't y'all talk about that shit instead of talking about the goddamn super bowl i mean low key it did feel like all of those niggas was calling out jay-z just because they wanted a reason to call out jay-z but like i said i don't find this disrespectful to wayne everybody keep talking about dre's performance that was like one time and yeah, Snoop and Kendrick was there, but that nigga had Eminem, 50 Cent, and Mary J. Blige up on stage with him. They ain't from the goddamn West Coast. Man, cut this shit out, dog. But what do I know? I'm just a dumbass YouTuber. That's just my take. If you like the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Don't leave a comment because I don't give a fuck about what you guys say. Say, like, nah, I love you. I, I care about your thoughts. But yeah, man, that was just my late ass opinion about the whole thing. I got plenty of videos that I plan on making for y'all. So just stay tuned for that. But anyways, I'm out this bitch. Peace.